Hey guys, how you doing? This is Benjamin with Benjamin's Exotics. Good morning, everybody. So, um, really quickly, I'll show you guys. I talked about this yesterday and a few days before that. I got uh, one of my new animals shipped in. So, she's. I already checked on her just to make sure everything was good. She's super pretty, and oh my gosh, dude, guys. My, my heart's a little bit. I was so nervous for this animal because I've never really shipped uh, too many. I've shipped a few, but not too many animals live over like this. Most of them are just from local distributors at uh, either Reptile Expos or uh, just breeders that I know. So let's check this girl out. So this guy, he's got some really high quality stuff. I'll tell you his name and I'll uh, maybe I can link him in the description. But dude, he's got the heat pack in here, a little bit of extra. I don't know what you want to call this. Just, you know, this is just paper towel or something like that, but it's a nice boundary so the snake doesn't bounce around too much. And dude, look in there. She won't grab my finger, I don't think. You can see right in that, right there, is the new animal being added to the collection. I was so nervous for this animal, but guys, dude, she is so beautiful. And let's see if I can get her out real quick. Give me a second. Okay, guys, this is this is very exciting for me. Um, damn, or just the colors on this animal are not coming out right now. I'm gonna have to get her in front of better lighting, but oh my gosh, she looks so bad on the camera. I, I apologize, guys, for, I wanted to have a better camera by now, but dude, look at that head. She's got such a cool head. She's got like spots of like a, she does not have a normal head. Like, see these two spots behind? That's not normal for pastels, but... She actually, I'm going to be honest, she looks better now than she did in the pictures that I saw of her online. Oh, come on, let's see if we can get her tail out. Just make sure everything's good. i got to check her for mites and everything, because I've never got from this guy before, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Just scared her a little bit. Okay. I just scissored through that thing as quick as I could. And look at that little beauty right there. That is a... This is one of the new animals I was talking about. This is a pastel het for clown ball python. And oh my gosh, dude, she is so beautiful. She looks just like, actually in some ways, a little bit better than my pastel headers, I guess, for possible lavender albino when I got her. But oh my gosh, dude, I've never, I have, it's been so long since I've had a little snake like this. It's probably been two years or something like that I eh, know a little bit over a year because with you know breeding season and everything hatching out eggs but with this girl right here I haven't had one that I was gonna keep for such a long time all the other ones got sold and such but oh my gosh she's got such a beautiful head and she's got a nice stripe going down the back and her colors I know it's not picking it up on this camera because this camera is like seven years old but she's got some amazing yellows on the side and just the or oranges on the side at least, and the yellows on the top of this. I don't want to scare her too much, and she's kind of freaking out, and I shouldn't have her this knife near her, but oh my gosh, guys. Now, I still got to check her out for mites and stuff, but I got her from a guy that I've talked to for quite a while. I really trust him. He has tons of clown stuff in terms of visual and heterozygous. Uh, his name is Whirl. Uh, scale design you can check him out on morph market and I don't even know if he has a website but I'm pretty sure yeah he's got a Facebook page I know but oh my gosh guys this is such a beautiful little snake I hope mm, colors really are not coming out this looks like a pretty bad pastel to be honest on the camera but in real life I've never seen a pastel with that head marking see how See the see the yellow with my pastel. The whole head is just like a brown. This is very very interesting. Like that heterozygous for clown really did something. And I love how little snakes feel because their scales are just so small and like they're very soft compared to the bigger snakes that are like more sometimes rough when their scales get a little bit dry because they're bigger of course. But man, this girl is so pretty. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go check her out a little bit. That won't be the fun part because I just got to know this girl. So anything that has to do with the head or, you know, just holding her, she's not going to be too comfortable with. But she feels great. I, it doesn't look like she's eating a meal in a little while. But I, I'm sure that's just because he knew he was getting shipped out and she didn't want him to have any, you know, throwing the rat up in the bag or something. But such a beautiful snake. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.